Jeffrey is trying to learn programming. He's been trying for years and years, but has never quite gotten over the edge. It's never clicked for him. He's used all the tutorials and read all the books, but nothing seems to stick. He does not even know where to start when he starts a new project. He follows blogs and just ends up with folders full of tutorial projects. Jeffrey is in tutorial hell. Adonis. Adonis knows that tutorials are only the beginning. He may follow one, but then he immediately jumps into a project without even knowing where to start. He just adapts the tutorial to what he needs and follows the official documentation. Adonis does not use useless blog posts. He references the official documentation to achieve his goals. After struggling through hardship of not knowing where to start, of not knowing what to do, Adonis has finally completed his first project. He's taken that difficult step forward that Jeffrey is too scared to take. I know you're struggling to learn programming or anything in general. Why are you struggling to learn? You're stuck doing tutorials, aren't you? All you're doing is following tutorials and wondering why things aren't sticking for you. I've been learning Python for two years, but I still don't think I even know it. Why is that? It's because you're following tutorials and you're not actually writing anything useful. You think you don't know where to start, but you do. You need to have a project in mind that you are going to work on before you even start learning. Why are you learning Python? Because I want to automate this thing. Learn how to automate that thing. Don't learn Python. Learn enough for specifically what you want to do and then grow from there. Learn by doing. Maybe do one or two tutorials for sure, but once you've done that, stop them. Don't do another one. I know you want to because it's easy and it's all hold your hand nicely. Oh, I'm going to do tutorials because it holds your hand nicely. No, we do not do that here. We do not follow tutorials just because they're easy. We do what we need to do because it's hard and it will be hard. You'll be pulling your hair out. But slowly and surely, line by line, you will accomplish your goal. Another thing to point out is that you should not really be using like blog posts that people post unless it's really hyper specific. Um, because a lot of people's blogs are just useless. They are, they, they make these blogs full of technical blog posts, and I'm guilty of this too, that their only real goal is to sort of bolster their CV, you know, they want a better job, they can show off that they've, they've done all this stuff like, oh look, hello Mr. Boss, I've done loads of, I've, I've published loads of blog posts that no one's read, but people might read them and get really confused because it's full of out-of-date information. Ah! Use the official documentation, it will not be out-of-date. If it's a good project, it will have good documentation. The Django documentation is mwah. Python documentation, mwah. Even if it is dense and complicated, it's that way for a reason. Eventually, the official documentation will become like an old friend to you. That's right, that's what I'm saying. Whenever I go to the Django documentation, it's like I'm feeling the warm embrace of a long lost friend. Oh, Django documentation, take me to where I need to go. And it does, it tells me exactly what to do. There's so many times I'm, I'm looking up things and how to do things. I've gone across countless blog posts and the like, and it's like, oh, it was just the answer was right there in the documentation, but I just skipped over it because I didn't read it in detail enough. You will fail, but every time you fail, it's an opportunity to learn. Learn why you failed, and then you will not make that same mistake again. You will always be improving as well. Don't try and learn the best way of doing things first. Learn the easiest way to get it done. Build up a foundation of knowledge and then you can work your way up to the harder stuff eventually and go back and correct your old mistakes. An example, who cares if you're, if you're looping over every single value in a list and doing a, a bad calculation on it? No computer scientist is gonna look at your code and be like, oh, oh, you've written an O of N squared algorithm where it could actually be written as O of N. Oh. No one's going to care, honestly. Not even your customers who are using your product or anyone using your script you wrote is gonna care. They're not gonna notice unless you're processing billions of rows of data, which I can assure you, you're not. You might think, oh, I need to optimize it in case. Go back and optimize it later. Stop pre-optimizing things. Stop, stop making excuses. You're like, oh, I can't write this because I don't know how to do it. You do know how to do it. Just do it really easily. Do it really poorly. Do it bad. But make sure it works. Once it works, you'll have completed a project. And when you've completed a project, you get that sense of satisfaction in yourself. But now that you've completed the project, if you want to, you can then learn more by correcting your mistakes. Not, not even mistakes, but you can go back and correct what you did uh, inefficiently if you want to. You don't have to go on to the next project. You know, no one's gonna complain. No one's even gonna know. Trust me, no one actually looks or cares and everyone kind of doesn't know what they're doing. You know, eventually you're gonna be making a ton of money whilst the, the college student is you know, they come fresh out of university with their doctorate and they're gonna, they're gonna be optimizing their algorithms like, <laughs> I'm going to make this code one millisecond faster. They're gonna spend six months doing that. By that time, you'll have added 50 new features to your project. In summary, 
Don't rely on tutorials. The official documentation is great. Have a project in mind before you start learning anything and learn as little as you need to get started with that project. Do the hard work, even if you don't feel like it. Mwah.